Right guys, it's Cogs here. Long time no speak, I know, but there will be more videos coming soon. We're going to talk about an aspect of my life um, that I haven't really touched on in the past, and that is my love for arcade gaming. Now, when people look at arcade gaming, there's a few routes a lot of people go down. Uh, one of which is MAME on a PC, which is what I've done up to now, uh, to play the likes of Metal Slug, um, lots of other games, Donkey Kong, Nibbler, uh, Cubert, everything. Uh, MAME will have you covered. Uh, but if you want a more authentic experience, there haven't really been many routes to go down. Uh, because if you want to stick on multiple buttons, a lot of people use fight sticks or USB arcade sticks. Not many people uh, have gone out and purchased full-on arcade cabinets. I've seen a few uh, cool DIY projects on YouTube. But aside from that, left in the dark until very recently. I was having a browse online and I discovered, because uh, I, I knew a bit about arcade machines, uh, I discovered some companies in China that were creating jammer PCBs full of emulated games uh, based on Linux and slapping them into a dual arcade stick and them costing about £100. I didn't know these existed at all. When I found out they did, I immediately looked for the best cheap one in Britain to get my hands on a base model. Uh, now I am aware, I just want to say, for people who know about Pandora's boxes already, that uh, they are all bootleg because they're emulated jammer PCBs. Uh, they don't have the best buttons, um, they're not Sanwa, they try to emulate Sanwa but you do get some spares and they are all interchangeable with Sanwa buttons, there's a certain button architecture and for people who don't know this terminology there's a certain button architecture that fits practically all arcade fight sticks and uh, arcade machines uh, and Sanwa are considered generally to be the best quality buttons that you can buy. Um, but there are versions of this this product uh, that you would consider the original official Pandora's box uh, which are Pandora's box 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 none of these S or plus models are considered official or original even though none of them are because they're all bootleg products anyway but uh, it's all to do with the PCB inside I'm going to show you around a uh, Pandora's box this is a 5S so this is what you consider a bootleg of an official Pandora's box uh, in basic, it's not got as good cooling, and uh, it has a larger game library on a micro SD card inside the board, but doesn't uh, have the same exact architecture, doesn't have the same processor, RAM, things like that. So it doesn't emulate things uh, of a higher calibre that well. And when I say higher calibre, I'm talking about games such as Outrun, Mortal Kombat, uh, games where there's either a lot going on or the graphics are of a superior level to your likes of Street Fighter, Alpha 1, things like that. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this. Uh, if you want to see further videos on these, uh, if you've stumbled across my video and never seen me before, if you hit subscribe and people enjoy this video, I will make uh, further videos on this. But this cost me £110. I'll put the link to the exact one I bought down below because there's a lot of companies now making these. Uh, they are starting to gain steam and become more popular. But I'm going to show you around it, uh, show you, tell you more about it, and uh, let you know if I recommend you get one of these, or if you pay uh, a fair bit more, get it from China and get a original official one. So I'm going to cut now to showing you a little bit about the product and uh, letting you know if it's worthwhile. So this right here is the Pandora's box console itself. As you can see, it's a six button layout per player. And you've also got a, a start button for each person, obviously, and a pause button on each side. Now the start button acts as a coin button in this model. I've seen other models with an individual coin button, uh, and I think you can press both together to pause, which I'd have preferred that mechanism personally. But this works fine. I've had no problems so far getting started in any of the games. I'm going to talk about the games in a second, but first let's look at the hardware. So, you've got an LED light around the sides. Now I would crack this open and show you the Jammer PCB, but it's very basic and boring for somebody who doesn't know much about this. Uh, there are lots of different decals you can find online. Uh, I just preferred this one for the colour scheme. Uh, yes, I promise the colour scheme was the reason. Um, right, 
hardware. So you're going to be using this a lot. You're going to be playing a lot of joystick intense games on this. Uh, so what are the joysticks like? Well, very, very nice and clicky and very tactile. Now I have to say that the ball on mine was not tightened very well. To solve that, I just clamped the support down here and screwed the ball on as hard as possible and it hasn't moved since. Uh, fucking, you can hear that click. Very nice, very clicky. Buttons. Now, a lot of games, you know, use one, two, three, four buttons. Uh, for your more intensive fighting games, you're going to be using all six. There's no differentiation between any of the buttons. They all click very well. And for your average person, you know, who's not really that um, bothered about having the best quality buttons or doesn't want exact emulation from a specific cabinet, this is not for you anyway, then, if that's the case. But these buttons will definitely do the job. They're very nice, very clicky. They're absolutely great. Now, if I can spin this round a little bit. You can see in the back, we have two USB ports. Now, the bonus of this console is you can use it as a PC controller for MAME, which I'm going to show you in a bit as well. But also, you have a VGA, which is fantastic for older monitors. If you've got an old monitor, you want to repurpose it or make your own cabinet. Jam it into this and you're sorted. Uh, HDMI, it outputs sound via HDMI and its own speaker system, which I think fantastic. Uh, as you can see, there's a volume scroller uh, down there. You can basically crank this up pretty loud for what it is. There's also a config button next to that. And you've also got an audio out. And the audio out is great because you can attach your own speakers to this and get sound that way. If you're using VGA, because VGA doesn't output sound, you can... Get your own speaker system, slap it up to a monitor, and you could build your own arcade cabinet, literally. But it's exactly the same for the other side's buttons. Uh, next, I'm going to show you, I've got them here. Uh, I have a list of popular common games on this, because there are 999 games. A lot of them are Japanese. There's a lot of different versions of the same games. Uh, there's like 100 King of Fighter games on here. But there are so many games... Um, that you may be interested in if you're a fan of arcade games that it's definitely worth telling you about these uh, now they're numbered and you can't change the numbering on this model uh, so you can't set it by alphabetic it is in a completely randomised slightly genre based uh, selection system so the list is not customisable I have to mention that but these are a lot of the big games that I've managed to find so you've got a lot of your fighting games Street Fighters, Ring of Destruction, I really like that game, and Slam Masters, they're great games. Get it over, you've got a uh, free camp boat, WrestleFest. Uh, kind of got to me that there wasn't WrestleMania the arcade game on here, but we've got two great WWF games there. Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts and Golden Axe. Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, you are likely to uh, rage at this a little bit but luckily i also should mention the top of this is made out of an acrylic and it is fantastic quality i found it very hard to get a mark on it i've left my vape on there not a single mark on this uh, it came with a protective film on it if you can see there there's bits of the film around the buttons doesn't affect functionality and at some point i'll probably remove all those bits of film but like i said i bought this as a base model so it was more of a test to see if it's worth me buying the more advanced model uh, so you've got Dungeons and Dragons, Alien vs Predator, uh, the Mega Man fighting game, I forgot the name of it, it was really fun though. Uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker, cracking game. Shinobi. You've got X-Men the arcade game. Uh, Super Mario Brothers from the Nintendo Arcade. Alien Syndrome and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. R-Type and Giga Wing. Uh, you've got a good range of puzzle games on here as well. And sports games. I have to say there's a lot of uh, football, soccer for my American friends games out there. Windjammers. Windjammers is so addictive and I've got a disc jam on my computer now. It's absolutely cracking Windjammers is. Uh, Gallagher and Galaxian. Uh, all the Donkey Kong games. Centipede. I say all the Donkey Kong games, the Donkey Kong arcade games, Donkey Kong Country or 64 are not on this. Or that Bongo game. <laughs> uh, Ice Climber. 
uh, a lot of Knights of Valor games. Uh, I had not played much of Knights of Valor in the past, and I found a lot of fun in it. And Oriental Legend, which were a great, great series of beat em up games. So, as you can see, games wise, you're getting a lot of value for your money. Uh, like I say, it's MAME emulation through a Linux distribution, uh, it's non customizable. Uh, I have not yet seen a custom firmware built for one of these, as they're all locked in a certain way that if you change something, if you delete something, you may uh, mess up the console. So I'm using it as is, and I've had no problems yet. But now let's get into the emulation and uh, see how certain games emulate and certain of these favourites emulate. So I'll use this list, go for a few big name games like Metal Slug, etc. and see how they emulate. Now, to begin this, I'll just show you the uh, basic GUI of the system. Uh, see what you're getting as a user. So, you can see the games just scroll through. You get nice little videos of what the games are, because there'll be a lot you haven't heard of on here. Very nice. And also, it's a breeze to scroll through with the uh, sticks. Now, where is the config button? Can I find it without... I can. So, if I click the config button here, you'll see that there's a basic all your buttons all working scenario going on here. And works very nicely. Now, you'll see the coin didn't light up as, like I said, uh, in-game, start and coin are the same thing. But just go back. Oh, press A in the start button. There we go. And you've got credit set in there on free play. So, exit game mode is start and coin. Uh, basically, on this model, you press pause and click leave game. I'll show you that in a second. Didn't realise there was such an odd choice of song playing on this, but it does the job. <laughs> And in game setting, you can change difficulty and lives for each game. So, for example, if you're tired of pressing the button on something, you can just set the amount of difficulty and lives uh, for each game. And haven't really messed with that to this point, but I'm sure if I wanted to sit and play through a Metal Slug game and didn't want to put a coin in every 10 seconds, it'd come in handy. Not that I'm that bad at uh, the old... But there you go, difficulty and lives. So, D to get out. And that's that there, so I can click on factory setting and reboot. And watch it boot back up. Now, from this screen, uh, like I say, you can select your games. So, let's say... I feel like Metal Slug will be a popular one. You'll see... I'm not sure in the first one. No, you will. You will see um, an issue in the emulation, which is uh, the uh, frame rate dropping when there's a lot going on on screen in certain games. But it never gets to a stage where it's unplayable. And you've got to remember, for what this costs and the amount of games you're getting, that if it was something game-breaking, it'd be an issue, but I don't think it is because it is a base model, like I say. Now, this emulation problem will be fixed if you get the higher priced, better processor model of the Pandora Box 5. But this is a bootleg of the bootleg, so this is a lesser processor, lesser RAM. Let's get into some emulation. So, let's start on Metal Slug. I've cranked up the volume on the console itself. You can hear it is very loud. <laughs> uh, but I'll put it back up through HDMI a little bit now. Uh, there are a few game problems with uh, sound emulation as well, but they're not that bad. Um, some games are missing soundtracks and songs. I think that is through uh, customising the ROMs on their behalf. But as you can see, in general, it never becomes unplayable. You'll just know it's a drop from that initial frame rate uh, at times, but never to an extent where you feel, oh, this is game-breaking. Uh, and some of the sounds may go at times, things like that in certain games, but you've got to expect that for this being a bootleg system. So if I click pause there, you can see I'll go to exit, back to the game list immediately. I found that it's incredibly 
um, responsive in terms of menus and exiting, starting a new game. Uh, me and my girlfriend have sat and played through, you know, long three to six hour sessions and not a single issue. Uh, now, I did mention earlier that the better model has better cooling than this, though I've never found it to overheat or anything. I've played intense games such as Marvel vs. Capcom and Marvel vs. Street Fighter and never had a problem. So I'd assume that if you do read online that there is a problem with cooling, it might be model specific. As this model, I've never experienced an issue and I've used this extensively. I haven't put it down really. So I'll just show you on a game such as, well, the majority of Capcom games, I have to say, emulate perfectly. Uh, I've had no problems with any Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom, anything like that. It's all direct arcade emulation it's really really good and i have to also say the graphics quality through output on hdmi is incredible uh, for games that were released when they were uh, the viewing experience is fantastic i'd say almost second to none without configuring mame itself i'll show you mame emulation in comparison in a second but i just wanted to show you that emulation on these games works okay uh, because I haven't noted where Mortal Kombat or 8 run are, uh, I would show you those. I may in a future video, but I have to say that Mortal Kombat and 8 run are two examples of games that do not run well. Same as the Jackie Chan games as well. Uh, I am sure it's down to graphics processing and bad optimization, but the games do not emulate well at all, they are basically unplayable, but for maybe, there might be 10 games like that on the entire system, out of the thousand, uh, unless you really want to play Mortal Kombat, I don't see a reason to get the more advanced model. I think this will suffice for a lot of people for general emulation. Like I say, there is not an issue with these Capcom fighting games at all. Um, and I've, I've, like I say, I've put it through its test, I've played a lot of these games and I haven't seen much of a reason to say I'd spend the extra 100 pounds to get the uh, authentic Pandora Box 5. Um, the 5S <laughs> will do for the majority of people. But uh, yeah, I've shown you this. You'll see there as well, some of the games are in uh, Japanese text, but are completely playable by an English person. I mean, as you can see, I haven't found a game that is unplayable yet, but you can select very easily. And Bison's name is Vega and Akuma is Goiki. But aside from that, fantastic. Um, not an issue with emulation aside from those few games and I would highly recommend this for the majority of people. I'd have to say that there'd have to be a very specific game you'd want to play that wouldn't work that would throw you off. But I haven't seen that aside from Mortal Kombat and Outrun. Uh, yeah, let's get into some MAME emulation using this as a stick now, though. So, we're on Windows 10. Uh, what I have is a configured MAME um, emulation system uh, with a lot of ROMs, about 6,000. But I have configured them all to Attract Mode, which is my favourite interface for MAME. Um, I could do a video on how to do that if there's enough, you know, uh, reaction down below uh, that says they want me to. But I've named it Mainbox, and if I double click on Mainbox, you'll see that I am in tracked mode. Now, the Windows 10 operating system picks this up as a PlayStation 3 controller, which I believe means you could use it on a PS3. I'm not sure how well, due to the lack of buttons, but not only does it pick up the left side as a PlayStation 3 controller, it picks up the right side as a second PlayStation 3 controller, which is extremely beneficial because it means you can essentially... I mean, look there, I've got 6,008 games, and I can extend the usage of this Pandora's box past the 1,000 games on here. And of course, if your computer's good enough, and you've got the right BIOS, and you know how to set MAME up, you can create your own Pandora's box with more intensive games. I've got an example of a personal favourite I'll go down to. By the way, configuring this with interfaces as a PS3 controller, fantastic. Uh, not an issue at all. Let's go down. This is a lot of games. Right. Now, I'll show you it working with a more intensive game, just because I've had to 
configure this controller with MAME itself, but I have the coin and start working perfectly on one button, and all the buttons, I mean a six button configuration is the majority of arcade games. Now of course you could do PlayStation emulation and Dreamcast emulation, which I'll show you in a second, I've got Dreamcast running nicely. But a game that I really enjoy is Rival Schools. As you can see, it's a more intensive 3D fighting game from either the late 90s or early 2000s. I believe it was a PlayStation 1 game, so we're probably talking mid to late 90s. So, Rival Schools. I've also got it stretched in emulation, so there may be a graphical issue here. But I just want to show you that the stick itself can be used perfectly fine as a uh, computer controller, also possibly PlayStation 3, though don't quote me on that, I'm Team Xbox, but it doesn't work with the Xbox One by the way, I have to say that. But, as shown you here, rival schools with the stick, one-handed skills here. Uh, it works completely fine. And I mean completely fine to the extent that you could be in an arcade, you know, cabinet situation right now and you wouldn't be able to tell a difference. And I think that's very important because you can personally extend your library to uh, however you wish based off... What have I done there? That's my right, control will get me out of this game. And back to attract mode. Uh, you can create your own front end and basically look. I mean, I've got SNES games, for example. I don't really need to show you that, as this can clearly work fine with SNES games with the number of buttons on the controller uh, without issue. And now, just to very quickly show you in uh, Daniel, because the Dreamcast is my personal favourite home system ever, if I go down to controls and Joy One, you can see that the uh, controller configuration for this is, if it wants to focus, there we go, that of a PlayStation controller, yet this just picks it up as Joy Zero and Joy One, as two separate controllers. I'll show you Joy Zero, Joy One there. And there's Joy One. So it works perfectly with all emulators, which is a madness to me. You now if I load a game, how am I loading a game on this? Oh, I've completely forgot. GD ROM. Select. Let's go for a classic. Let's go for. Well, I can go for Marvel vs. Capcom 2, can't I? To show you that you can then play more intensive games. So if I click Run Dreamcast, it should boot up in full screen. And skip past the intro there, but you'll see how everything on this works perfectly with the controller and like I say extends it way past what you would initially get I mean the thousand games on here are older arcade systems but if you decide I want to play a more up-to-date game you just have to do a bit of reading into how to configure another emulator and boom you're away let's just click on arcade mode Not like that coil. There we go. I want to take you for a ride. Classic. But from my childhood, uh, I love the Dreamcast, and now to be able to experience these games again, and the arcade games, specifically with an arcade stick, it's just another lease of life for this controller I'll, I'll be using this for many years time but I just wanted to show you that and that is my brief overview of the uh, Pandora's Box 5S now I'll put the link to this exact model down below I've heard people have problems with other models yet I've experienced zero problems and probably have more extensive use as I've used it every single day uh, to go through arcade emulation and not an issue in the slightest. The built-in games, like I say, a few of them won't work well. Uh, the majority will. 
It works perfectly with MAME and it works perfectly with all other emulators on a Windows 10 computer. I can't speak for Windows 7 XP. I'm guessing it will work fine with those with driver support. And it's just an incredible purchase. Probably one of the more important and, you know, I, I'm grateful for the existence of this basically as it's essentially two arcade sticks connected to a motherboard with a crap ton of games on it and you can then use it to play a crap ton more. Uh, it's absolutely great. Not a single issue. Link will be down below. Subscribe if you want to see more and comment below any questions you have or anything you want me to try and do with this. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back with you soon. I'm sure to do more videos on this uh, showing specific emulation. I did have a Wii U emulator running for Pokken which was great. Uh, but I play modern games with this, um, no issues at all using an Xbox controller plugin. Uh, it will then see it as an Xbox controller. I can do videos on all that if you like. But thank you for watching, take care everybody, and uh, I hope that if you get one of these you get as much joy out of it as I have. But uh, yeah, take care everyone.